A traditional individual retirement account, an IRA, is a special type of retirement account in which the money you invest is exempt from income taxes until you withdraw it. If you deposit $100 each month into an IRA earning 6% interest, how much will you have in the account after 20 years? Let's learn. This is an annuity formula. How do we know? Well, we're depositing every month into the account. So every month we're putting $100 into this retirement account that's going to grow for 20 years and we're not going to touch it until the end. Okay. So in that case, it's compounding, but we keep adding money into this big old barrel. It just gets larger and larger over the years. Okay. So let's analyze different parts here, the key things. We're depositing $100 each month. Our account's earning 6% interest, and how much do we have in the account after 20 years? If we use our annuity formula here, we don't know the end balance, the P sub N. That's what we want to find. We do know our regular deposit of $100, okay? We have an annual interest rate here, they tell us of 6% which is a decimal of 0 0.06. And our compounding periods here is how often are we depositing it? This is every month. We have 12 months in a year. And our end value, how many years we're looking for, is 20. So now we have identified all the key parts here. We just need our formula and plug it in and simplify or solve. So P sub N here, our formula is our D100 two parentheses, one plus our R value 0 0.06 over our K value, which is 12, to the power of N times K, which is an N times K, which is N of 20, times a K value of 12, minus one, close it, and then over an R over K again, which is 0 0.06 over a K value of 12. And from there, we just want to simplify, okay? So we have P sub N here. Let me separate these out here. P sub N is equal to, I'm going to leave the 100 here, double parentheses, and 0 0.06 over 12, 0 0.06 divided by 12 is a, we have 1 plus a 0 0.005, two zeros here, to the power of 20 times 12, right here, it's 240 minus one over, and we already calculated 0 0.06 over 12 is a 0 0.005, okay? Now we gotta go, we'll simplify this again. We have P sub N is 100 times two parentheses here, but then one plus 0 0.005 is a 1.005 to the power of 240, we minus one to that, all over is 0 0.005. Let's kind of move across here. 1.005 to the power of 240 is a large decimal of 3.31. So we have 100 times a 3.31020446 minus, don't forget that one, over a 0 0.005. Showing all my steps here, we'll go P sub N again. We have 100 times, subtract one to that whole number is a 2.31020446 over a 0 0.05. A 0 0.0, two zeros. Let's make that clear, Sean. It always happens when I do this. I always forget an extra zero. Zero, you don't do that, zero, zero, five. All right, so now we're at a point where you probably can multiply it all out. We take the top number, times it by 100, moves the decimal place over two spots, and then divide by 0 0.005. And that gets me a decimal value of 46204.08952. And if we round that piece of N, is a 46,204. Let's jump in the gun here with all these numbers. 04.089 rounds it to 0 0.09.
So after all of that lovely, lovely work, we will have in our account after 20 years, $46,204.09. Well, I hope you learned something here on the annuity formula. And uh, if you did, don't forget to like this video. And as always, thanks for watching.